angle snapping for aiming has taken over YouTube. Like, it's the secret weapon to have aim assist with a mouse. Sorry in advance, but I'm going to show you why it's pure poison. To quickly summarize how it works, angle snapping is an option on some mice or through other software that pulls your mouse movements to the X or Y axis, whichever is closest. And therein lies the problem. You have this third party that is essentially dragging your aim to the X or Y at all times with no consideration for where enemies are on your screen. This is easiest to show with very high angle snapping beyond what anyone would reasonably use. With my angle snapping set to 40 degrees, you can clearly see how it gravitates towards the axes. Now, I'm sure I could have found something better, but using this box, I can simulate aiming at about a 30 degree angle. Even though my mouse repeated what would be close to the exact same range of motion, we get this horribly wide and jagged result. It is wide because the angle we chose is closer to the X axis, so it pulls in that direction. And it's jagged because it wants to either be moving perfectly vertically or perfectly horizontally. Compare this to no angle snapping, where it's nice clustered straight lines as you would expect from watching the mouse movements perform. The speed of your cursor will also determine how much smoothing occurs. The faster the movement, the more it corrects. If you slowly move around, it will basically do nothing. So, the whole point of it is to get these smooth horizontal flicks. But the thing is, even without angle snapping, the tiny imperfections are so meaningless when it comes to aiming in-game. They're rarely ever the difference between hitting or missing a shot. The vast majority of your horizontal flick misses come down to over-aiming, under-aiming, or shooting at the wrong time. Something has to go seriously wrong for a miss to come down to aiming too high or low. And if you're aiming far enough away from the x-axis for that to even happen, your angle snapping probably won't kick in anyway. Jump into paint and try aiming left to right a few times. Your lines aren't going to be these exaggerated waves. You may see a gentle bow, which comes down to moving our hand in an arc and our sense of position changing throughout that motion. That may seem like a good justification for using angle snapping, but in almost any scenario, it's not enough deviation to actually matter. And it's avoided through proper aiming ergonomics anyway, like not planting your wrist to one spot. Your lines may be skewed like this, and if that's a consistent problem, the cause is holding your mouse with the sensor angled something like this. And the answer isn't angle snapping, but rather changing your mouse sensor orientation through raw Excel, or simply adjusting your mouse grip. I have a video on how to adjust it in raw Excel linked in the description. So, with angle snapping on at a normal level of around 10 degrees, what are we left with? Our horizontal flicks are straight, but only if we already flick almost entirely straight in the first place. That may look nicer, particularly in paint, but in-game this effectively changes nothing. Any aiming near the X or Y axis will be sabotaged, so unless your crosshair is perfectly in line with your target, you're at a disadvantage. Your crosshair will not go where you intend it to, as it's being dragged to the closest axes. With all that being said, the power of the placebo effect is incredible. A few months ago, I went through aiming TikTok and the most popular video I found was an aiming tip for Valorant where you turn off enhanced point of precision in Windows to instantly improve your aim. But Valorant uses raw input, so this change does absolutely nothing. Yet, there's hundreds of comments talking about how much this helped and how much their aim improved. I believe this angle snapping trend is in the same boat. Functionally, a typical amount of angle snapping provides little to no benefits in-game besides the cosmetics of a flick shot at the cost of any aiming that isn't exactly in line with an axis. For these reasons, I cannot support the use of angle snapping or mouse smoothing. If you want to see the rest of the video of me reacting to aiming TikTok, you can check it out here. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.